Hello everyone and welcome back to Jus de Rose. I cannot believe we are almost in September, which means I can start talking about autumn and fall fragrances again. So this video is about the top eight most delicious fragrances for the fall season. And you can find all of these perfumes on maxaroma.com, who is the sponsor of today's video. Now there's a very special offer going on just for you guys, where you can get a discovery set of three times eight ml travel sprays of three perfumes that I'll be talking about today on orders over a hundred dollars. So I'll be revealing which fragrances are included in this set at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And if you like sweet perfumes and you're specifically looking for a new fall or autumn scent, then this video is for you. Coming in at number eight, we have Kalahari by Noem. This is a spicy, woody, amber fragrance that is inspired by the desert. Let's just have a bit of a packaging appreciation moment because we need to talk about this. It is stunning. Now the bottle is very heavy and feels super luxurious. The cap itself is stunning. There's a little inscription on it that says fantasy is more important than knowledge, which is basically all about celebrating the idea of dream through fragrance. I absolutely adore all these little details. I feel like it makes the fragrance that much special. But back to the scent itself. So this perfume is a really hot and dry scent. It is complemented with cardamom, saffron and amber, which you're going to get right from the start but then as the fragrance develops on the skin you're going to get this really beautiful dry woody notes of cedar wood and it's going to give like a parched effect to the fragrance so contributing to the fact that it is a very hot and dry scent and then as it continues to develop on the skin this is when the milky fuzzy musks are going to come through it's like a warm blanket basically so the dry down feels woody dry and then a little bit milky from the musks. It is a beautiful fragrance and totally underrated by the way. So if you want a light ambery fragrance with this like dry effect, I highly recommend you try this out. It's unisex, leaning I would say more towards masculine and in terms of performance on my skin it lasts around six hours with moderate projection. Next up we have an old favorite of mine. It is Tardes by Carner. I used to talk so much about this fragrance when I started my YouTube channel. So if you've been following me since then, you probably know this perfume. It is such a stunning fragrance and one of my favorites from Carner. This perfume is a floral almond dream of a scent. A little bit powdery as well. And of course you have lovely clean florals. So the notes in this fragrance are heliotrope, almond, rose, and tonka bean. This perfume to me reminds me of the powdery vanilla almond scent of plastic dolls. It doesn't smell like plastic. It's just that like warm and comforting scent of plastic dolls that I get from this perfume. So it feels a little bit nostalgic, a little bit cocooning, and warm but at the same time it's a fragrance that really draws you in. In terms of performance on my skin it lasts all day with a moderate projection and I would say this fragrance is unisex but leaning more towards feminine. Number six we have Gris Charnel Extrait. I wanted to include this one over the original because the dry down of this fragrance is super delicious and really yummy more so than the original scent. So Gris Charnel Extrait is at 30% concentration and it is a more sensual, sexy interpretation of the original Gris Charnel. It still has the same ingredients. So you have iris, you have black tea, fig, sandalwood, and the cardamom. However, this version is enhanced with more woods, vetiver and patchouli specifically, which is gonna give a darker edge to this fragrance and also a little bit of intrigue. What's interesting about this fragrance is that the opening and the dry down are drastically different. So the opening you're gonna get the woods, some resins as well, just a little bit of sweetness. But then as the fragrance dries down, it's going to turn into like a warm, balmy, vanilla, almond, lactonic dream of a scent. And the key word here is lactonic. So you're gonna get like a milky almond effect after maybe two, three hours or so of wear of this fragrance. And that's what makes this perfume super addictive and really delicious. It lasts just as long as the original. On my skin, that's around 12 plus hours. 
shoulders, which is fantastic, but it doesn't lift off as much. So it stays a little bit closer to the skin. And this perfume is perfectly unisex. Guys, girls can enjoy it. So I think this is gonna be a really great one for the upcoming fall season. Highly recommend it, Gris Chanel Extrait. Next up, we have my favorite perfume from Amouage. I cannot wait to wear more of it in the fall season. It is Material. This is such a gorgeous, buttery, ultra sensual vanilla complemented with incense, benzoin, tonka bean, lots of resins, and this beautiful Madagascar vanilla. It is rich, indulgent. This is such a fantastic fragrance. If there's only one perfume I would recommend to get from Amouage, Material would be it. It is another sexy beast as well, and it just feels super luxurious, like basically all of Amouage fragrances. You smell the luxury in this fragrance. It's also unisex, I would say, leading more towards feminine, but that being said, I know guys that wear it and love it. And in terms of performance on my skin, it lasts around eight hours with moderate projection. Coming in at number four, we have Seta by Moresk. This perfume is so freaking delicious. It smells like a warm, liquid vanilla caramel. It hits the sweet spot, pun intended. Not syrupy, not sticky sweet. It is very smooth and rounded. Honestly, I don't know how they did this because this fragrance could be in that territory, but it's not. It is quite airy and creamy at the same time, warm and sensual, and just a beautiful fragrance. If you like vanilla, you need to get your nose on this scent. So it has all of the yummy ingredients with the vanilla, of course, but there's also sandalwood, myrrh, benzoin, saffron, and amber. And I like the fact that the myrrh is quite prominent in this perfume because it brings a touch of licorice, which prevents this perfume from falling flat and keeps it quite interesting. So I'd recommend this to you if you like sweeter perfumes, but again, it is not a sticky, sweet fragrance. So Seta is completely unisex, bang, in the middle it doesn't lean masculine it doesn't lean feminine it is bang in the middle unisex and in terms of wear on my skin it lasts eight hours with moderate to soft projection so this is not a perfume that is going to be super in your face and project like crazy it's going to be more intimate i mentioned at the beginning of the video that you can get a discovery set on orders over a hundred dollars and seta is part of the set so it's three times eight ml travel sprays you have seta gris chanel extrait by bdk and Kalahari by Noem. I highly recommend you try this perfume. It is such an underrated hidden gem of a fragrance, especially if you are a gourmand lover, you for sure need this perfume in your life. Now, if you're looking for a super strong, powerful fragrance that is gonna project like crazy and intoxicate an entire room, you should try Side Effect by Initio Parfum Privé. A spicy, boozy, cinnamon, rum, bomb of a scent. Imagine you are drinking a shot of rum and you have the rim lined with cinnamon this is what this perfume smells like and the feeling that you get from drinking that like warm feeling at the back of your throat mixed with the spiciness of cinnamon cinnamon this is what i get from this fragrance it's basically like fireworks in your nostrils. Explosive. This is a boozy, explosive, spicy scent. I would say also has a little bit of a candied-like sweetness. So if you like sweet candy-like notes, you're probably gonna really enjoy side effects. In terms of performance on my skin, this is a 12 hour plus wear with a monstrous beast mode projection. A loud perfume for those of you who like spicy, boozy fragrances. Number two, we have one of the yummiest sandalwood fragrances ever created. It is Piano Santal by L'Orchestre Parfum. This is a gourmand sandalwood made to perfection. Oh, this is so so incredible. So this fragrance has a very lactonic or milky quality. It's extremely milky. So think Duce de Leche with that like caramel-like sweetness. That is what I get from Piano Santal. It is sweet, but again, it's not going to be too much or too in your face. It is super well done. And if there's only one fragrance I'd recommend you get from L'Orchestre Parfum, Piano Santal would be it. I would recommend this fragrance if you like really milky lactonic fragrances, such as Milk from Commodity, that like sweet lactonic effect, then I would definitely go for Piano Santal. Or if you really like sweeter sandalwood fragrances, definitely try out Piano Santal. It's a little gem. Piano Santal is also entirely unisex and 
performs super well on my skin. It lasts 12 hours plus with a monstrous projection. So for me, this is a 12 out of 10 all-star niche fragrance and highly recommend it for the fall and winter season. And the number one most delicious fragrance for the fall time is Sana by Blend Oud. I have been obsessed with this fragrance for the last few weeks and it is amongst my favorite fragrances to wear at the moment. This perfume is the most yummy, edible, delicious smelling vanilla scent. Oh, this is such a stunner. I just can't get enough of this perfume. So Sana really smells as if you were baking a cake. You just took the cake out of the oven and you get that like warm, sweet, delicious scent of vanilla. But then you're also adding some lemon drizzle because there is some citruses in this perfume which prevents it from being too sickly sticky sweet, which is what I like about this scent. And in terms of performance, it's another fantastic long lasting scent. On my skin, it lasts 10 hours plus with a strong projection, which makes me very happy because I can smell it throughout the day and I'm addicted to the scent. So again, vanilla fragrance lovers, if you want a fantastic vanilla, lemony vanilla, I would say you should try Sana by Blend Oud, another hidden gem that I highly recommend you try. And that is it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what is your most delicious fall fragrance. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread the fragrant love.